didn't get to ride this year that much. <laughs> Welcome to the weekend homestead. This week we work on our snowmobiles. What we're gonna do is go through and get them ready for the summertime, basically putting them in storage. In a prior video, which we linked up above, you can see what we did to get them ready for the snowmobile season. Now that we're at the end of the season, we have a couple simple steps that we do here on the property to get them ready for storage. It's a nice day out in the shop today, so why don't you come along and I'll show you what we do with our machines. Hey, just a quick disclaimer. I'm not a mechanic, most likely you're not a mechanic. Out on the homestead, we read the manuals, we go through what the manufacturer specification state you need to do with your equipment. I'd recommend you doing the same. It's how you learn. Alrighty, today we're gonna use some simple stuff. One, uh, some rodent repellent. Uh, we've shown them before, cab fresh, we put them in our Kubota and other tractors, but uh, we'll use that when we're done. Uh, grease gun to grease up uh, the different points on the snowmobile and the suspension. Some stabilizer to do the cylinders, a couple simple wrenches and a socket set. And then one last thing, this is a fuel pump. We're gonna use it to pump the fuel out of the gas tank. Okay, first step, we're gonna work on the fuel. We have a simple gas grade container. We're gonna get our pump and we have basically get the fuel out of the tank. A lot of people store their machinery and their vehicles with fuel in them, put some stabilizer. I can never get the mix right because I don't know how much fuel is in here in order to know how much stable to put in here. So what we do is we pump all the fuel out of the gas tanks into another container. We'll run the machine dry. That way I know there's nothing in there that can degrade or sit around. And, and by doing that, we've seen to keep the uh, fuel filters a lot cleaner on our machinery. Um, we've never had a problem in the uh, fall when we want to get them ready and fire them up. So first step here, fuel. Alrighty, so this pump just slides right inside the tank. Then we'll turn this handle and it'll pump the fuel down. And let's do these couple cranks and we'll be good to go. This pump will just basically pump the fuel up out of the tank through the pump here and then dump it down into our gas safe container down below here. So just a couple cranks. It doesn't take very much to pump everything out of here. And I think that's about it right there. So now that the fuel's out of here, we'll move on to the next step, which is working on the engine. I always recommend plastic gloves. I don't know if you see me working on machinery and things, I'll have these on. A lot easier to keep your hands clean and a little bit of paper towel. Alrighty, on to the engine compartment. Uh, engine, is, engine compartment's very simple. What we're gonna do is fire up the snowmobile here for a second, let it run until it runs out of gas, basically. Um, we take all the fuel out of the tank. Now we're gonna take all the fuel out of the lines. Once that's dry, we should be good for storage on the gas line side, and we'll move on to spark plugs and oil. Then a little bit of stuff on the suspension, and we'll be all done. Next step is engine compartment. We're gonna take care of the spark plugs and the oil. Uh, we're gonna use a socket. And then I use this stuff called stable fogging oil. Uh, we actually fog the cylinders and make sure that uh, they're well coated so they never rust, seize, or have any issues at all. So we'll get the spark plugs out and uh, we'll spray this in. Now, as you saw in our other video, we replaced the spark plugs at the uh, beginning of the season, so these spark plugs will actually live their days out inside the sled over the summer here. And then they'll probably, they may get replaced in the uh, fall when we get these things ready to go again. All right, so now we're gonna spray the inside of the cylinders with the fogging oil. This next step you have to do very, very carefully and very slowly, but without the plugs in, we're gonna pull the snowmobile over, but we're gonna pull it very slowly, so watch. What we're doing is we're cycling 
the pistons to make sure that we have enough oil coating the cylinder. Now I always go back and give it a little bit more of a spray. A little more on each. Or two more pulls. Now I'll put the plugs back in. Then don't over tighten these, just uh, tighten them back down. And one little oop, there we go. Same thing on the other side here. And in case there was any overspray, just take a little paper towel, kind of wipe everything off in here. I like to keep the engines, you know, as clean as possible. All right, one last item. I always top the oil off, just kind of a habit of mine. Alrighty, we are going to just check through here to make sure there's nothing in here at all or any buildup or anything like that and leave this open, let it air out and cool off. We'll move on to the suspension and then we're gonna be done. All right, we're down to the last item here. Basically uh, grease the, the points. There's a couple different points on the bottom here. Essentially just go underneath with the grease gun. Go. One, two, three. And one more right up here. One, two, three. And that's basically it. So next step for us is wiping them down. Just simple rag, water, wipe them down, store them. Make sure they're dry before you put the covers on. You don't want any mold or anything to rust on here. I always recommend wiping your sleds down before you put them in storage. The over the summer is when you'll have the most rust and damage happen to your snowmobile, salt and everything else that's sitting on the metal off of there over the summertime as it just sits in storage doing nothing. That's when you get a lot of corrosion on, the, on it. So five minute quick wipe down is always uh, worth it. Here. Alrighty, last item here. We'll just open the engine compartment back up. Now there's a lot of little spots inside of here where critters can uh, get into. So uh, I put this product in. Now this isn't an endorsement or anything like that. I don't get paid by these guys, but we started putting these inside of our engine compartments a while back and we haven't had any problems with mice making nests or anything like that. Remember this thing's gonna go in storage for probably a good, you know, five, six months without being touched and little spaces and tight crevices and you know small areas like that space down there and just drop one of those right down inside of there and you know put one right here and a couple more strategically placed around the compartment. A box of four of them are like 10 bucks or something like that at any room improvement store but a real simple way to keep uh, critters out of your engine compartment. Okay, that's it for this snowmobile. Basically we did the gas, pumped it out Ran the snowmobile dry, plugged the cylinders, put the plugs back in, uh, topped off the oil and pumped some grease in, gave it a good wipe down, and then put some uh, mouse uh, proofing uh, stuff in here. It, it works really good for us. We'll put the cover on, we'll get the other snowmobile over here, and we'll do the same thing. I'll show you what we do with the other one.
All right, so that's our snowmobile project. Got them put away for storage here. They'll sit like this until the fall. Hopefully next year we'll have a better snowmobile season than this year. Didn't get much riding because we didn't get much snow. If you ever have any questions or anything like that, feel free to drop us an email or leave us a message directly here on YouTube. If you like what we're doing here, make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can follow along for future adventures. We also have other snowmobile videos if you want to check them out. Just click on the eye in the sky and it'll give you the information. This has been the Weekend Homestead, living a simple life one weekend at a time. Thanks for watching.